not for the first time nor the last, negotiations to unite the political right blew up in a welter of accusations and acrimony. Alliance leader Stephen Harper pulled his negotiators. Door closed. The conservatives, he says, don't know what they want. You can't ask people to just talk and talk and talk and talk out deadlines and talk away, uh, talk out the clock, unless they have some clear idea of what their leaders uh, do approve and do not approve. However, the Conservative Party emissary to the talks says Harper meddled too much. And if Mr. Harper would just stay out of it, we can get the job done. They can't even agree on how close they came. I think we are exceptionally close. Um, we, we were not uh, nearly as close as any of our people thought we were. This effort at a political union is too serious to play games with, says Peter McKay. It's not some Hollywood love match. This is not the Ben Affleck, Jennifer Lopez affair. This is a very serious issue for, for all Canadians, not just Conservatives. No wonder McKay is reluctant. Waiting for a political hole in one is former Conservative Ontario Premier Mike Harris. Whether that means running or not, uh, that's, that's way, way down the road and very, very premature. But, uh, but I, would be, I would be interested in helping. His golfing buddy Ralph Klein wants to see the merger talks continue. And he believes that Harris should lead a new National Conservative Party. I think uh, better than Stephen, better than uh, Peter McKay at this particular time because uh, Canadians are looking for a fresh face. It may be a long while before these parties get their act together. Timing's not good. Paul Martin and an election will be on them before they know it.